I'm someone who believes, and this is a completely original thought, and please, please, for God's sake, if you disagree with me, raise your hand and let us have a discussion on this. I feel you can only be a successful entrepreneur if you are a good storyteller. If you're not a good storyteller, you are not going to be a good entrepreneur. And I'm going to explain in detail to you why. Why stories are important. Why you have to be a storyteller. And you will be a little bit confused because, you see, though these two terms are as different as chalk and cheese, aren't they? Entrepreneurship is what? It is all left side of the brain. It's business. It's logic. It's statistics. It is mathematics. What is storytelling? Storytelling is intuitive, imaginative. It is creative. It is right side of the brain. These two things are completely different. As I said, chalk and cheese, but they are actually not. You can only be a good entrepreneur if you are a good storyteller. Let me just explain this how. Now, what is an idea? I, I, how many of you are interested in entrepreneurship? I believe we had a great session today here. One hand, two hands, three hand, four hand. You're not speaking the truth. I've not been to any technical college where my personal feeling is that 90% people want to become entrepreneurs. Is that true? Or is it different here? True? Most of you? Okay, great. So this talk is going to be um, interesting for you. And as I said, disagree with me and let's have a discussion. So always, for an entrepreneur to start with, you need to have an idea. An idea will be two or three sentences long, that's it. And that will be generally a story. But let me go a little further. Right. All right. So you've got an idea. Many of you might be having ideas already. Some of you might have created a beta type, you know, tested it with some limited audience and seen how it is working and you're confident that you can scale it up and you can probably make it convert it to a good business model. And that's great. 